Hey guys, welcome back to uh, part two of this, uh, I guess SMAR or whatever you call it, I'm painting. Uh, I'm painting my Warhammer McFallen figure here, part two. Last time we did uh, the bases. And today I'm thinking about if I should make her blue or black. That's the thing right now. Should I make her blue or black? So I'm thinking about blue. Seems like the right color. Seems like a cool color. Yeah, I'm going with the blue. Uh, something new. You know what I mean? So I got two options. I can make her armor here. It's already white. Uh, blue or I can make the underneath blue which I think I'm going to make the underneath blue I think that's a cooler color so I'm just going to take this uh, paintbrush here again with a dry brush you always want a dry brush take it here we just paint it I have fun with it. Just want to do a little bit of blue because I'm going to try to make it look like armor. Add a little silver again. Okay, you can make what co whatever color you want, but I'm going to make it blue. It's your toy. Feel free. Use your imagination. Get under here. As you can tell now the arm is blue. The underneath, the un under armor, I guess, or the under, I guess, the under armor of this. I'm not trying to say the brand or anything. Here we go. See right there, that's blue. And then we can get this part here blue. Let's make this blue. Here we go. Look at that, just add a little blue to that. And right there, she's blue. So, let the little dry a little bit more. We're gonna add, we're gonna add a little bit more blue to that. But now we're gonna start working on the arms. See these arms right here with the rubber part. It's a little dry, but this is not the part we're gonna do blue. That's gonna stay white. We're gonna do this. It's the um, like fabric part. We're gonna make that blue. I got some blue there, so I gotta be careful. Be careful, guys. Make sure you get all that. That guy. Now this is blue. And we're gonna do the other arm, but we need a little bit more blue paint. A little dab a dab of blue paint. I would do this arm. Thank you. 
Right here we painted that blue. All right, guys. Like I said, you can paint it whatever color you want. These are uh, Warhammer figures, once again. So now we're going on to the helmets. I'm going to go away on the helmet because I got to paint the eyes red first before I do the blue. So let's do that. Let's move on to that and leave, let this part dry. Actually, let's take a little dab of dab of this. Let's, let's paint this blue. You know what I'm saying? Let's paint this blue. Go back to the blue. More dab of dab on the blue. Again, I like using these paint markers. They're easier than having paint, I think. Like we said, we just paint this. The gray area should be easy to paint because it's just uh, rubber. There's no primer on this because I'm not quite sure if primer sticks to this rubber part. It ends up getting sticky, so I'm trying to avoid that. So what I'm just going to do is just color this raw. It worked last time. So, but blue is such a light color so you have to add multiple layers. You know what I mean? It's just a light, delicate color. She will uh, pop out in contrast to the other battle sisters, which are black. So I will make her look more like royalty. You know what I mean? Blue. So we need more. Uh, more paint markers, more blue. Like I said, blue is a light color, so I'm gonna have to be using a lot of this. And why I'm not using a marker straight on the thing because a little too much paint on this rubber parts they won't dry as well so you just take your time with it sometimes it's okay to take your time you know Hopefully I'm not running out of blue.
Here we go with the first layer. We're going to let that dry up a little bit. Yeah. So now for the mask. Now for some red. We're going to let that dry up. And then we're going to add some more blue too. But let's work on that helmet. This one's my first helmet. Uh, it was black and white. Kind of looks like that Power Ranger. It's dope. But I'm going to make this one blue, white, and silver. So first we got to start with the eyes. And that's a red marker here. A little dab a dab out of the red. No. A little dab a dab out of the red. We get a fine point. Um, fine point uh, dry brush. I got a little fine point as you can see. Right there, see that red eyes? I'm gonna let that dry because we're gonna make the helmet. So I kept her eyes white, but you know what? I like the red. I think they all should have red eyes. There's something about the red eyes to creep me out, you know what I mean? But now we're gonna go with the blue. That's the wrong um, paintbrush. Get out my paint bucket, dry off my paint. Again, a little dabba dabba. Little bad brush. Little bob brush there. Dabba dabba. And then we go back to the blue. To the blue marker. Little dabba dabba right there, guys. And then we go back to this. Back to the armor. The first thing we started off with. A little bit darker. There we go. Don't worry if you get a little, uh, a little blue on your gold. You always go back. It's just highlights. You get all up in there. And you don't have to make it look pristine again because it's armor. It's supposed to look bad or damaged. As long as it's blue enough. You know? Or whatever color you're choosing. It'll make you happy. So we go back to the blue pen. See what I mean? This blue. Get yeah, under the breastplate right there. It's a little bluer. It looks better. It gives it that more royal look. And right here, there's a little fabric. I think I need more blue. Can never go wrong with more blue. This. Get around the collar. Here we go. You see now she's blue, white, and gold, and looking a little bit super royal, super royal. Put that there, let it dry. Get a little bit more blue, guys. Back to the sleeves. And here we just want to blend it in a little bit, make it look like fabric. This is what this is. This is fabric. It's not armor. It have to be so hot under here. You know the crevices of the stuff.
always feel free to use as much glue as you want. I like to use a little dab and dab at a time. You know what I mean? This brush until my paint brush is uh, it's running out of paint. Make it look like fabric. It's okay to not get into all the crevices because uh, fabric has different colors. If you look at it, it has different crevices. Mm -hmm. So, blue sleeves. We're gonna add details to that later. A little bit more blue for the other sleeves. Just paint. Paint into your brush. This drop. You need to take a little bit more. Here we go. Blue sleeves. That over there for now, let it dry. Now we're going to do the bottom again. Give it a little bit more color. See how that's holding up. See, now we got this part. This is the uh, plastic part. As you can see, it, it dries way faster when you use Do it by hand. Sometimes you just got to take that extra care. Once again, you see it's blue. And it's got a little bit more blue. Now we take the blue, a little dab and dab it. See this uh, rubber part really soaks up the ink too, so it just I don't know what it's made out of. So I need more blue. Put a little more blue on here. And just. You know, paint until it's blue. This blue. I got plenty of markers, so it's a paint markers. Get them on my clothes. I think you can get them online. I'm not sure. I don't know Michaels where I go to. They lock these guys up because they're kind of expensive. But they're nice. There's also cheaper ones. You know what I mean? It's all about the brand. I don't care about brands. Uh, so they all do the same thing. So we painted that and we turned this around and painted this back and just. Uh, I don't know what to call this. This is not a skirt, so I don't know what to call it. It's like a battle. 
great thing. I heard McFarlane is making Dreadnoughts. I don't know if that's true, but that'd be cool. That'd be a big figure. Because Dreadnoughts are really huge. You know what I mean? Then it'd be like a super nerd. You could play the... Like Warhammer is the one where you're on the floor and you're on the ground. It's more of a battle. Then I have the one with the spaceship. So when you take the guys on, do like a higher ground. I don't play that one. Never did. I like the ground units. They got regular Warhammer too. I don't think people really play regular Warhammer. I'm not sure. It's pretty much like Dungeons and Dragons, but with toys. Shake it up some guys. Shake it up. Shake it up. Check, 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 check it up. thing on her armor when it's done you see it just goes on top of here like this it should go all the way inside once the figure is put together and she will have that blue under her armor with the gold and see that that looks dope and she looks like royalty let's put that over here now right, let's do the helmet so what i want to do with the helmet is I thought about making the helmet blue, but I'm not. I'm going to make the visor where the red eyes and stuff are blue. I just like it that way better. Paint this blue. I made the helmet part blue right there, as you can see. I'm gonna let that dry. So right now I'm gonna let all these parts dry, and um, I'll be back. And I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, thank you. See you next time.